Welcome back to Burning Eyes Tech guys. In today's episode of Azure Fundamentals, we're going to be taking a look at Azure's VPN gateway. In other words, Azure's virtual private network gateway. Alrighty, first things first, what exactly is the Azure VPN gateway? Now for those of you that did not see my previous episodes, this actually just adds on to another topic which is called virtual networks. Now that component is an example of infrastructure as a service, which basically in a nutshell allows you to connect your components in the cloud to one another. This could be components like virtual machines. So if you would like to have your virtual machines communicate with one another in the cloud, one way to achieve that would be virtual networks. Now these virtual networks can in fact also be used to connect your infrastructure in the cloud to stuff on premises. Believe it or not, this can be done. But to be able to do this, you're going to have to resort to what we call a VPN gateway. Um, in other words, a virtual private network gateway. Now, this VPN gateway is not just used to connect your infrastructure in the cloud to infrastructure on premises. It can actually be used to connect stuff in the cloud to one another as well. So if you've got stuff in different regions, this can actually be pretty useful. Maybe you've got some stuff in the East US, maybe you've got some stuff in the West US in that region. So if you've got stuff in different regions like the East US and the West US, which are also referred to as different locations or better yet, different data centers, how would you go about connecting these components to one another if they're in different regions? Now, virtual network is part of the solution, but on its own, it's not gonna work. So what you're going to need to resort to here is the VPN gateway. It's not the only way to get this done. I mean, you can also go use peering and things like that, but that's the topic for a different day. Today's topic is VPN gateway. So if you were to go and add VPN gateway to a virtual network, now you would be able to go and interconnect between different regions. Cross-regional communication is what they call it. So I've got a nice little picture here for you guys. You can see here I've got an on-premises network here at the bottom. There we go. And I've got a network here in the cloud. So in the cloud, I've got two virtual machines, each in their own respective subnet, but they are in the same virtual network. On premises, I've just got two servers here on a normal internal network. Nothing fancy about that. So if you have your stuff in the cloud, which you can see here at the top, I've got stuff in the cloud. They're all in the same network. By default, all I would need to connect these machines to one another is just a virtual network. But if I were to go and try and connect that stuff in a cloud to anything on premises, by default, that's not going to work. However, what if I were to go and add a VPN gateway, as you can see here? If you go and add yourself a VPN gateway, you can go and interconnect your stuff in the cloud to infrastructure on premises, vice versa. Communication is going to occur between your Azure infrastructure in the cloud um, and your on-premise infrastructure on premises. Now, something you can also go and do, which we just discussed in the previous slide, is you can go and connect between different regions, cross-regional communication is what we call it. So you can see here, I've got one region here on the left, which I refer to as region A, that's in the East US. Then I've got a second region here on the right, which is referred to as region B, which is in the West US. Now, obviously, this is not limited to the East US and the West US. I just simply use those as examples. This could be between any two regions. So if you've got components in two different regions for whatever reason, and you would like them to communicate with one another, this is how you can get it done. It's not the only way, you can also go use peering and other solutions out there, but this is probably the most common way to get these things done. Now generally the average company I've dealt with would have all of the components in the same region. Generally that's what you wanna go and do because of latency and all that kinds of jazz. Uh, but there are situations where companies might very well have their stuff in different regions. And if that happens to be the case, it is possible to link your components in the cloud to one another between different regions by using what we call a VPN gateway. So if you're just gonna, on its own, go and create a virtual machine, let's say in one region, being East US, and you go and create another virtual machine in a different region, being West US, um, that's not gonna allow them to communicate with one another. This could even be the same portal. It can be the same subscription, it can be the same portal, it can be the same everything. You can be logging in with the same account, um, on the same portal and they will not communicate with one another because you created these components in different regions. Now in my case in these exercises not going to happen because for the most part I've just been using trials in this course and with the trial one of the limitations is I'm only limited to the East US. But if you were to go and get yourself a legit subscription you would not be limited to the East US like I am. Any form of trial is normally limited to the East US for some reason. Realistically in real life you can obviously go and choose a different region because there's different latency involved 
you're probably going to want to choose a region which is closer to you because of latency. Um, you might want to go and look at functionality. You might want to go and look at pricing. So that's realistically things you're going to want to go and look at in a real life situation. All right, guys. So that is it for today. That's a quick short one. That's what a VPN gateway is. I hope this has been informative. If it has, please give the video a like. If you have not done so already, please consider subscribing to the channel. Otherwise, you will not know when the next episode for the series comes out or when any other series for that matter comes out. And I'll see you guys on episode 8, which is actually going to be released probably within about a day or less. Hey, see you guys on the next one. Let me.